ATO. This is your automatic train operation. Uh, these functions basically control the entire train. Uh, they are controlling the speed, sorry, they're controlling the acceleration, the propulsion, they're controlling the braking of the system. Uh, they're basically taking control of the train that is usually performed by the operator itself. Um, but it is a non-vital function. So that may seem a little odd. How is it that an ATO, which is considered non-vital, is controlling a 50-ton train and is considered non-vital? Well, here's how it works. The ATO is controlling the train non-vitally, so it can do whatever it wants. Uh, it's controlling the propulsion unit, it's controlling the braking of the system, it's controlling the door opening and closing. But the ATP part of the, uh, the, the train board system is operating there as well. It's basically saying that the train is permitted to move at a certain speed. The ATO must, must honor that speed. If the speed is not honored and it, and it violates it and goes beyond that speed limit, the ATP will break that train. If the train comes into a, a station and the ATO decides it wants to open the door, but it's not safe to open the door, the ATP system is monitoring the ATO and says, no, it stops it. It prevents the door from opening. So there's a, a relationship between the ATO part of train board and the ATP part of the train board system. They're working in unison. Um, and if anything goes wrong with the ATO, the ATP protects it. But the ATO is considered a non-vital part of the train board uh, system, but it's controlling uh, everything that the train driver uh, is supposed to be doing. And that's essentially what makes it a driverless uh, system. So there are three functions that are defined by, AT, uh, by, defined by IEEE 1474.1. There's the ASC, or the Automatic Speed Regulation. Uh, there's the Platform Berthing, uh, which is the controls to have a train come into a station, uh, open and close doors and, and, and leave and actually the door control itself for train and platform doors. These are all considered uh, non-vital uh, functions uh, as part of IEEE. So automatic speed regulation. This is the starting, stopping, and uh, speed regulation of the train. It's controlled by the ATO uh, and it's controlling a propulsion unit. It takes the information from the ATP part that says your speed limit is 60 kilometers an hour and it must match that speed. If the train goes beyond that 60 kilometers, let's say it goes 62, 63, 64 kilometers an hour, the ATP system will, will automatically break that train to bring it under 60 kilometers an hour. So it's not going to drop the hammer. It's not going to emergency break the train. If that train goes past a certain threshold, so 60 is the limit, if it goes past 65, the ATP would drop the emergency brakes. So there's a certain tolerance that the ATP allows this ATO uh, in terms of, of regulating the speed. Speed limit is 60, you can go a little bit above it, but I'm gonna break you back below. But if I can't break you back below the speed limit, the ATP will emergency break the train uh, uh, immediately. So the automatic, the, the automatic speed regulation, this is, it also controls how hard the train is going to accelerate, how hard it's going to break or decelerate, and the jerk that the passenger are going to feel. This is where ride quality, passenger comfort and ride quality comes into it. Um, this is where the suppliers are tuning the ASC uh, speed profile to ensure that nice smooth uh, acceleration when the train is taking off. And when the train is coming to a stop at a station, it comes to a nice smooth stop. So there's none of this jerking back and forth uh, as the train is coming into the platform and leaving the platform. And that's the ASC that does that. If some of you have worked on CBTC projects, you'll notice that the suppliers are, are tuning uh, the ASC or the, the, the speed regulation of the system. Basically what they're doing is this, they're trying to get that ride quality to make sure that they meet the jerk requirements of the project. Uh, or they're tuning it because the train is, is exceeding the speed limit uh, this defined by the ATP. Um, it, tuning the ASC is actually a very time consuming part of the uh, testing program in the field that I've seen. Um, and it's a very tricky function as well. Uh, so that's, uh, ride quality is one aspect of automatic speed regulation. Um, and as I mentioned, the speed, and the speed is determined by the ATP and it must be honored, otherwise the ATP stops. Platform berthing and control. This is basically the ability to stop a train at the platform. Uh, if you have platform doors on a station, the train has to stop within a certain tolerance. It can be anything between plus or minus 20 centimeters to plus or minus 50 centimeters. Um, so that's your train berthing and control. So the train comes in, it stops within this, this window. 
and uh, it opens and closes the door, uh, including the platform doors itself. And that's your door control part of it. So that's the ATO function. So it doesn't have too much uh, in there when compared to the ATP, but it's a very important part of the uh, system because it is controlling that train. Um, and what it does affects the passengers on that train in terms of the ride quality that they're going to feel as they're moving along. <music>